I'll try this again. Hello, we're back from Texas. We got back Sunday because Dave had to go back out of town working again. But we went down, uh, I'll put a map up from Kansas City down to Hatoom, Texas. And we put, we um, did geocaching along the way. And uh, we ended up going on uh, the Bizarre Cattle Crossing in Kansas. It's very interesting. I mean, out there everything's flat. There's flat grassy ground with not a bunch of trees. And um, that bridge was freaking windy. The bridge wasn't windy, but there was windy out by the bridge. It was so windy that it about blew me off. <laughs> picture Dave took of me trying to stand up up there but we did a couple of decaches up there and then we went down the road um, through Oklahoma City down by right through more excuse me where they the tornado had gone through and um, it was pretty devastating the part on the expressway where you see the devastation was not as wide as it got down the line which we didn't see but and let's see um, we ended up staying in Oklahoma down a bit right pretty close to the Texas line and had thunderstorms and lightning and tornado warnings the night we stayed there and then the next day when we got into Texas, um, we did more geocaching, but uh, what was I going to say? Huh. We, went to, we got into Texas, and it was windy through Texas and cloudy and stuff. By the time we got to um, Dave's brother's house. It was freaking hot. It, I mean, it it was still windy, but it was it was hot in Texas. You know, it's hot in Texas. And uh, we had a nice, you know, saying hi to folks and stuff. And um, I'm trying to think of the stuff we did. I'm trying. To <laughs> um, we had like a uh, cookout and stuff and then the next day Dave and I just hung around out going through the little town of Hutto which is known for it's the hippo um, town of of the country it's uh well, there's a story behind it. Hippo's story. Oh, okay. So, early 1900s, circus comes to town, the hippo gets out and starts walking around town, and Hutto is now the hippo capital of Texas. But it's really cool because you go, there's hippos, statues all over, and some people paint them, and I mean, it's really really a unique little town and everybody is super friendly there very nice people and stuff and we went and got this one geocache that actually it was in the shape of a hippo and it had a toad in it and the toad was stuck in it so we uh set it free but in the meantime when dave was going to get it he stepped into uh bread ants and got all bit up that's when you see someone that doesn't move fast, move fast. And um, then we went to a restaurant that night and had Mexican. And it was a pretty cool place. And they had karaoke. But we left when the karaoke came on. Because when I started singing, everybody wanted to leave. You know how well I sing? Why would anybody not want to stay? So uh, the next day we all went out to Austin, Texas, 
Miss Quincy and her sister there. We were there. So we we went on this uh, duck thing. It's a land and water thing and went through the town. It was hot. It was hot. But it was cool. And all the big houses they have, they have huge houses there. And they have houses on the river. And the houses are like, well, you can dock your boat under your house in like a little boat garage. Yeah. And then we all had family chit-chat and stuff. And then on the way back, we got to stop in this uh, big, big, big sunflower field. It was awesome. It was so cool. And I, I have pictures on Facebook. And I will put more pictures up on Facebook, but I'm going to wait and do a little at a time. I don't want to overwhelm you <laughs> with photos. <clears throat> but, oh my gosh, uh, that day I had a little bit of a crazy time because I, uh, Stevie, I got out of the car fast and closed it too fast. And be, thank goodness, I guess I'm the height I am. It hit me right here. I mean, it whacked me in the in the jaw. And I'm going to tell you what. Any of these movies where these women get socked in the jaw and then get right back up to that, ain't no way. Ah, oh, wow. Oh. And then I went to throw something out of the window. I had the automatic window and I hit the button and I got my hand caught in it. I mean, I had one of those days, but I was, uh, I was actually telling Bernie what, what had happened while I was trying to type it. I was laughing so hard I couldn't even hardly breathe. <laughs> this klutzy no. Okay. Anyway, we got home safe and sound and and I have that's all you know that was the trip and we're back and I'll put pictures up so from one point on it'll be pictures you can look at them all if you want or not so that's all I have for now just thought I'd update you on this okay toodly do ta ta and farewell and order one Bye.